Trade Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are focusing on one of Africa's leading and most recognized brands. We shall also explore the strategy of this successful African company and the reason why it is a household name within the region. And more importantly, we shall look into the history, its successful operations and the reason why they are leading in the digital age. In this particular episode, we are talking about the MTN Group. So without any much delay, we shall just go straight into it. Now the question here is, what is MTN actually doing differently that um, other companies in the continent are still grappling with? Now in this next section, I am going to look in details with regards to that. In considering MTN, NTN is an emerging market mobile operator at the forefront of technological and judicial changes. It was inspired and looking at a strategy that everyone deserves the benefits of a modern connected life that provide diverse range of also voice data and digital fine tech and wholesale and enterprise services to more than 280 million customers in 21 countries. In considering this particular African brand, MTN established in South Africa at the dawn of democracy in 1994 as a leader in transformation. Since then, they have also realized investing in sophisticated communication, infrastructure, developing new technology and also by harnessing the talent and also diverse teams of people that now transform the service and communities across the African continent and in the Middle East. In looking at the strategy, considering the leadership and also promotion across different areas of the business, adhering to its uh, different principles and standards, recommendations and also laws, regulations that continue to strengthen MTN and align it to its structural policy and also procedures to also support operating environment and different strategies that the company has also excelled into. Considering this particular African brand, MTN has also uh, expanded itself in operating in highly competitive market within the African continent. Describing on the company's uh, operations and different segments of the business, in regards to different areas, the company also has, has consumer markets in different ways and also having focus on youth, given the large growing market segment in that particular area. The enterprise segment, which includes a large and well small medium-sized enterprises, and as well as the wholesale segment, which service other telecom and also technological companies that partner with the engine exercise capacity to also grow their own different business. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Now, welcome back. Now, having looked at the company's MTN strategy, looking at its background, and also looking at its different sector in the business that the company operates, if you consider those particular wholesale segment and private sector segment are very, very important. And all of these are things which um, the company is, is doing differently. If we look at the background of the MTN group, MTN established in South Africa as we've mentioned in 1994 and quickly expanded operations to now serving over 280 million customers as we've pointed out and growing further to over 22 countries across Africa and the Middle East. MTN is number one player in 14 out of the 22 countries in which it operates. Produce and service includes different things like the digital fine tech that we've laid out and more importantly if you consider the way that this company has transformed in the private sector brand includes in different areas which wanted also to move in different ways in other markets mtn's met criteria and recognition as a leading brand in the african continent also leading in africa as well based on annual brand ranking in different areas the african business magazine was pointed mtn to be number eight as of top 100 most admired brands in Africa and only in the top 10 based in Africa. Similarly to this particular area, based on the Cantus brand, the largest global brand equity study that pointed that MTN ranked among the five most recognized South African brands. More importantly also, if you consider that MTN also wanted to include its own brand 
strong presence in several different countries, enabling the company to scale itself and become a household name. Considering the different strategies that the company has also used, that the brand market best practice as well as the MTN company, although MTN is recognized as a leading African brand, there is very little that has been written about this particular company. Branding marketing, it also reach in different areas, leadership area, strategies, more importantly, the availability of employees training. Now, the question here is, what is MTN actually doing differently? If you consider the strategy, it market capitalization, and also looking at the different segment that the company focuses on. I believe that one particular reason is the brand, and that's what I'm going to look into. Brand image is a very important thing in businesses around the world, not just in the African continent. However, African companies and businesses are beginning to recognize the importance that brand attach in terms of their development to scale their businesses. I'm going to go deep into that as to the reason why MTN, why MTN is still the number one brand in the African continent. Are you ready? Let's dig in. But before I jump into that, allow me to explain to you the importance of brand strategy in terms of companies of the 21st century, which also sit with African businesses. A brand is a name, a term, a design or a symbol or any other feature that identifies one seller's goods or services as distinct from those of other seller. Having that in mind, what is a brand identity in considering in the case of MTN? The brand identity is how a brand portrays itself to customers. It is a set of all branding activities a company indulges in in order to be perceived in a particular way to target audience. Brand identity is how a brand identifies itself. It is the aggregate of the brand's name, the tagline, the brand voice, the brand positioning, and the brand association and brand personality. The thing is, you do not have to be confused with regards to the difference between what a brand image is and also a brand identity. Even though brand identity is often uh, confused to be the same as brand image, both are very different. Brand identity is how the brand wants its customers to perceive it. While on the other hand, brand image on the other hand is the customer's perception of the brand which results from their interaction with the brand. It is often stemmed from the brand's identity but it's not necessarily the same or similar to it as the brand has little or no control over the brand image. In that case, MTM does not have any control at how the customer perceives it. In looking at the importance of brand identity for companies, beside the rationale that brand identity is what makes the brand unique and identifiable in the market, there are also very important things that companies should take into consideration. For example, like the suitability of the brand. While brand identity is outward expression of the brand, brand image is how the image is perceived around the customer's perception. Having an identity is really important for businesses as it gives a rise to the brand image. However, the task for marketers is to make sure customers form an image of the different brand which aligns to making sure that the operation and strategy falls in line. In having that in mind as well, there are some things that are very important in terms of how companies to also gel their brand identity. Lots of things that in terms of visual things, for example, like the brand name, the brand logo, the tagline, the brand topography, the style and also color palettes and imagery. In other non-visual aspect, looking at the brand identity, brand association, the brand voice and all of this aspect, we think that MTN uh, Africa has had a top of the chart in terms of this particular aspect with regards to uh, branding within the region. This company is an African household name. The brand is so recognized based on a number of criteria that I've listed out there. It's also important to see that this company also is beginning to scale its operation. Um, scale back its operation, so to point out that MTN is beginning to scale back its operation because they want to really focus on the African market entirely. So this is something very important that other companies in the continent can also consider that. Does the African communication market open? Absolutely. 
Are there competitors in there? Definitely so. There are huge other major, major and also mega competitors in the African continent uh, telecommunication market. But these companies doing something that others are not really doing. And development, which provide example of a strong company culture expanding into different countries. We've also considered this company that there are different specific market campaigns that brought to life each of the five sub elements that we've pointed out the strategy best practice for NTN noted that different examples are demonstrated in different market different strategies are applied to different of those markets that the company operate it has become a household name based on our finding NTN stand out in focus to customer experience all NTN activities in terms of investments in technology innovation employee trainings and also development business evaluation and executive compensations in different areas are grounded in MTN strategy, best customer experience, time shifts and also focus on technology to also improve customer experience in different ways. If you look at the digital divide and also the overall brand campaign, MTN is leading the way in different areas. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. MTN is a strong example of an organization that focuses on employee as the most important resource to exceed in customer expectation, deliver results and also bring brand to life. In the words of the, its president once, that there is a company that believed that to achieve the best customer experience, they have to focus on start with the employees having the best employee experience. To create this best employee explanation, MTN made win employees and also hearts in different ways, expanding six core strategies, creating a center for expertise focused on employee experience and measured employee engagement through employees and peers based on the company's own uh, value creation. MTN is also a great example of a strong overall parent brand that has different shared market execution and also campaigns to target different regions and audiences around the region. Now, do you believe that MTN brand image or brand strategy is the reason why this company is setting itself aside? Let us know in the comment section. Do you also believe that MTN is not the number one brand company uh, in the African continent? Also let us know. Are you from, are you working with MTN or you've done business with them? Leave us a comment in the comment section so we would like to know. If you drive to consider NTN's operations and its awareness, the different products and services, giving NTN's bridge and also breadth in terms of its over 20 uh, countries that the company operates, uh, including the Middle East, the depth of its data service and also includes the device and voice operation, financial services and markets, consumer X sections, give NTN an operation that between parent brand and also local operations, the company has expanded itself. It is a leading market player in some of Africa's leading markets like in Nigeria and Uganda and in different areas. MTN maintains this balance with the different hypotheses based on our review. At least it enables different factors operating in different strategies to become very successful. A strong overall brand that is integral to the corporate culture of MTN and employees, not just making teams to have understandable of the different operation, but the chief marketing operation of different country managers, presumably that the company will be represented in that region based on this operation. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. While it may be both obvious that uh, the brand MTN, uh, it's a very important uh, thing to mention in terms of a logo. MTN proves this point that even its MTN logo were not were removed in particular out of its uh, communication, it will be obvious that it is from MTN by considering its own operation through consistent and clever use of its color, consistency use of specific language like yellow and also the bright and overall optimistic look and feel. MTN manages communications, MTN without having to show letters 
of the MTN. The brand has been expanded in the different regions and has been recognized considering its consumer market. The enterprise section and the wholesale section, MTN has established itself as a leading brand within the African continent and beyond. We have also explored that the company culture is so important considering from when the company started its operations that we are talking about uh, that was in as of 1994 growing to become the market leader in different countries across the continent. There are of course different challenges that the company faces in different ways in terms of operation and establishing an authority in terms of uh, a market share. However, MTN Group has also made its name it has become one of Africa's uh, leading brand in terms of telecommunication and in different areas. Its services have been recognized in different ways and more importantly, a growing population customers of just over 280 million. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you've watched some of our other videos with regards to the African continent. On this channel, we focus on travel, doing business in the continent and also scaling uh, other activities within the continent. Thanks very much for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.